Here guys, I surprised my wife made her little flower bed around the mailbox and she said it wasn't the right size. So I'm gonna cut it down seven inches shorter, put it back around it and uh, we'll let you guys see what you think about it. This is making a little family project out of this and uh, this is just one by six uh, pine rough lumber we bought from a local sawmill. So I oiled the inside of it and bottom and top. the inside of it bottom and top and that'll that i mean this ain't gonna last 20 years by no means but we'll probably get six or eight good years out of it and the board was only like three dollars from the sawmill versus the treated board from lowe's 15 20 bucks so and we already had these left over from another project we're cutting it down seven inches i actually ought to pull this out first So guys, I took and cut this thing down seven inches like I said, and the wife had been wanting a flare bed around the uh, mailbox for a while now, and I didn't actually know how I would like it, but man, after we got done, it looks great. It's just a simple curb appeal update, and it really adds, uh, it just added a nice little look at the end of the driveway to have some nice flowers growing around the mailbox. As you can see, we live off Highway 80 there in the background. There's vehicles going by, so I cut down the sound. That way you guys didn't have to hear the vehicles roaring by. And the wife and the little girl helped me, and we got that thing around the mailbox, drove in some stakes and fastened it, and got it good and level. I quickly found out that this ground was way too hard to drive up. 16 inch stake down in it so just took my saw and cut that stake off after i got it drove down six or eight inches that's plenty enough to hold this little flower bed put a couple screws in it the wife started pulling the weeds out and i put a stake in the front there's a stake on each side of it. They're no, no in particular spot or placement. We just put them in there where I felt like it leveled it the best. And I started helping pulling some weeds out. And you see here, a lot of times uh, I use cardboard for my weed barrier because cardboard will naturally over time just decompose and uh, it makes also a good weed barrier and water can pass through it and uh, a lot of times we use cardboard in our flower beds i didn't do this what you call perfect i could have went and got another piece but i just wanted to block most of the weeds coming up from the ground the bigger weeds i put a piece of cardboard over you can see here we just dump the dirt in we put four bags of dirt and actually if you go to lowe's and you find bags that's been busted and hit with forklifts just a quick tip, they'll give those to you half off. So that's what we did. We found four busted bags and they gave them to us half off, saved us some money. And we picked us out five or six nice flowers. You see, I laid those out and let the wife look at it, got her approval before I put them in. After she gave me the go ahead, I went ahead and planted those flowers. It's a pretty basic, simple process. Pull the dirt back, put the flower in, use the measuring tape to try to get them pretty much even. And guys, this project turned out really nice. Once we get the mulch in, and you see that last shot, it looked really good. I was very impressed. I'm glad the wife had this idea. It added a really nice curb appeal to the house. It was simple, fun family project. Took us about an hour, I guess, to get it completely finished all together. It wasn't a big deal. It was just a, uh, something nice we did on one evening there at the house. Casely sat in the background, which is my youngest back there in the little red wagon and yelled at us the whole time. I actually ended up getting that mole chaff off too. It was a busted bag, so. We pinched pennies and done it as cheap as we could too, but also made it look good. Pick up our trash. 
The wife got a little sign and put in on that side, fixed the mulch back around it, and wait till you see this. Hope you enjoy, guys. You should try this at your house.